post and core placement. There is so much tooth structure, and we never want to remove sound tooth structure, we are using a flexi post in this case. Flexi post is a split shank, parallel sided, threaded post. The split shank design of the flexi post makes the post a graduated tap. It closes upon insertion to deliver proven maximum retention with minimal insertional stress. In this case, we are going to determine which size post to use in the palatal root of a maxillary molar by placing the flexi post depth gauge over the tooth. When the second tier is placed at the CEJ and the one millimeter lateral lines fall within the dentin, we know that the post size is correct for placement within the root. Now we will remove the gutta percha and size the inside of the post hole using Gates Glid and Drill. We are removing the gutta percha and sizing the post hole with the yellow EDS Gates Glid and Drill. Next we are using the red EDS Gates Glid and Drill with water to remove and size the post hole. We stop at the red size because we chose the red number one flexi post for the restoration. We make 100% of the post hole length and 90% of the width using these Gates Glid and Drills. Now we are using the red number one primary reamer to establish the full length of the post hole and the exact width of the post hole to fit the number one flexi post. We now use the red number one secondary drill to make the box for the second tier preparation. At this point, we will trial seat the flexi post to determine how it fits in the canal. When using the flexi post, always make sure to insert the post to its full length first. If you find the post is too long and the second tier does not fit within the preparation, remove the post and shorten from the apical end. By inserting the post first, one has the full length of the split shank to make sure the threads create a thread line inside the root atraumatically. Remove the post and then you may cut from the apical end of the post. Each thread line is approximately one millimeter apart. Therefore, you may remove one, two, three, or even four millimeters of apical length of post without reducing the retention. We do not have to reshape the conical end. Now we are trial seating the flexi post back in place to make sure that it fully seats. We have two wrenches, an internal wrench or an external wrench. The post is now fully seated and we remove it to prepare for cementation. We are removing it for demonstration purposes with the internal wrench. We now use Flexi Auto E reinforced composite cement to cement the post into the canal. It is expressed through the auto mix syringe with a needle nose tip. This tip fits directly into the canal, allowing direct and very easy placement of the post cement. The canal is filled entirely with cement and the post is threaded into the cement and into the post hole. Thread the post in until you feel the second tear stopping within the second tear preparation. At that point, we remove the wrench and the post is seated within the tooth. Here we are removing the excess cement. Preparation for the core, we are etching all the internal dentinal surfaces. We now wash off the etching agent. We place Tycor Auto E, which is a self mixing, dual cured, reinforced composite as the core material. Tycor has a proven 10 year fluoride release. This will be bonded to the etched tooth surface, which has just been created. Tycor Auto E is dual cured. It will light cure in four millimeter increments in 20 seconds, or will self cure in six minutes. Adjustments can be made to the material before it has set. We now light cure the material between 20 and 40 seconds. We remove the excess material using a coarse diamond drill, making a rough preparation for the core. The tooth is now ready for crown preparation. For more information on these patented products, please contact Essential Dental Systems. Thank you.